Okay, so let's do this one. This is the quickest question as well. Uh, sketch the potential energy diagram for an exothermic rea reaction with a catalyst at it. So the first part you're going to do is write your axes as energy, that's reaction progress. So an exothermic reaction is going to have the reactants higher in energy than the product. Okay, so that's an exothermic reaction. Now remember, a normal reaction is going to have a hump and then go down. Okay? That hump there, that hump is called the activation energy. Okay? So up here, this is where the transition state is. So when we add a catalyst, what happens is that the catalyst will lower the activation energy. Okay? So what's going to happen is instead of going over that path way up there, the reaction is going to now progress this way. So it doesn't have to go all the way up to that high energy point. Okay? So now the new transition state is going to be down here. Right? So this here is the effect of the okay. So I think a lot of people almost got that one. <laughs>